continue in our readings in Psalms. Today we're reading Psalm 48. A song, a psalm of the sons of Korah. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise in the city of our God, his holy mountain. Beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth. Like the heights of Zephon is Mount Zion, the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He has shown himself to be her fortress. When the kings joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, pain like that of a woman in labour. You destroyed them like the like ships of Tarshish, shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God, God makes her secure forever. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Count her towers. Consider well her ramparts. View her citadels that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. Now, Psalm 48 is uh, an interesting one because we see it's a lot about, there's a lot of imagery um, about war and the temple and, you know, destroying different things. So we can see that I believe there's a foreign invader had come up to take the very gates of Jerusalem. Inside, the people were expecting um, the agonies of a long siege. Humanly speaking, the prospects were very, very bleak. Then the Lord worked a miracle. The enemy saw something that threw them into utter panic. They retreated in terror. Jerusalem was preserved from destruction, and a great wave of praise went up to God. Psalm 48 captures something of the ecstasy of that moment. And I think, you know, we can see, we know that the Lord is expressly great. He is great in his power, in knowledge, in glory, and in grace. His love is great, his mercy and his compassion. He is great in wisdom and knowledge. His judgments are unsearchable and his ways are inscrutable. Because God is so great, he is greatly to be praised. And I think that's something that we take away from this um, from this hymn. Um, no matter what we are going through, um, we can always look to God. Um, and even when the odds are stacked against us, because he is inexceedably great, we can know that when God makes his way for us, it will be a sure victory. And we read... Um, that passage in um, Romans, you know, if God is for us, who can be against? So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness and your power. And we thank you that even though we go through many battles in this life, once you get involved, our victory is secure, secure because we are for you. And anybody who is against, they will have to leave or get out of the way because you are inexceedably great. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.